Hello once again and welcome to Prestige Auctions to what is become a usual Monday feed now to show you the items that have come into the auction uh, and that have not yet been lotted up. Of course, if you want to see the lotted up numbers and that, you need to wait for the Facebook pictures tomorrow night. But this is an overview of everything that's come into the auction already. As you can see, we did over 1,300 lots on Saturday. You can probably hear from my voice, I'm still suffering. So I'll do my best to get through this one. So we've got, did over 1,300 lots and they've all gone. And the room is once again, absolutely ram packed full. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a walk around. Now, I've got a bad throat, so I'll do my best to talk as much as possible. But we'll try and walk around in the uh, way that we go as well. Lisa, could you do us a favour? Yeah. Could you grab us those two uh, black trays out the safe, please? And then I can show them uh, them as well. Uh, what you want me to do today? Uh, yeah, make me a coffee while I'm doing this video. Okay, right. And uh, this will be lot number one is this green man. And we've got coal buckets. And then... Uh, what, Lisa? Haha, <laughs> you're dead funny, aren't you? So, okay, so let's move in along here to the Furby. And, of course, as somebody quite rightly pointed out to me the other week when we're doing these walk rounds, you know, just a reminder to everybody, <laughs> this is really timely for me, a reminder to everybody that items are sold as seen, you are buying what you see. Uh, yeah, check the boxes, that's always a good idea, because then you don't end up with Christmas ornaments instead of tire inflators, which is what I did last week, and I'm the auctioneer. So, one of these nice globes, they're always quite good various lamps and then some religious figurines as well and uh, various pots of pottery as you can see down here well we are coming up to boot sale time boot sale time is when you will be wanting all of this stuff so you can get it all spread out and your paste tables in a field somewhere and try and make a few quid look at all these nice copper bits in the corner there we've also got a load of russian dolls we come down to this bit here uh, various blue and white i'm trying to hold the camera as steady as possible more blue and white We've got boxes of books this week as well, and uh, all the usual house clearance stuff. Look at all these boxes, just absolutely brimming. These are not just single items, these are full banana boxes, full of stuff. Okay, next we will head down here, and then we'll come up to this section here, where we've got this big glass bowl and this marble roller coaster, and then with a bit of Capo de Monte, and uh, a big, uh, is that a kingfisher? Something like that, or whatever it is. A woodpecker, I don't know. Anyway, we've got all this stuff up here. More Capo de Monte. And then this uh, big uh, shisha pipe. And we'll come down here, we've got some another one of these. It's strange. I was saying how good that was last week, and we've got another one this week. So uh, various die-cast items. As you can see, there's quite a few of those this week. And uh, we come down here, more more uh, boxes of assorted as you can see what about that big lacquered box that's quite a nice thing that one uh we come down here a tray of elephants all those elephants and doctor who stuff as well we come down here boxes of cds reel-to-reel -reel tapes there's all those there uh, i was trying to show you in these actually you can see here look they're all sort of first day covers and there's a big pile of those or maybe a big green box or a guitar there are several guitars in this week's auction uh, has to be said and if you look up here there are lots of guitar amplifiers as well so we go down the guitar amps as you can see try and go a little bit slower just so you can get to see things you remember you can always hit the pause button and then we've got another uh, coal scuttle there and uh, a pair of cats and some dancing figures and then we've got the usual boxes of dvds games disney dvds blu-rays you name it once again car booters ebayers side hustlers look at all these things here Lots of them, records, boxes of pottery, uh, various boxes of old paperwork, all come from the hoarder's house that was still empty in. That's going to be a few more weeks yet. And don't forget, this is, of course, the last Saturday auction uh, before before we uh, have a two-week close down. So uh, we're having a two-week shutdown. And then, uh, I'll tell you what, then actually we go this way. Well, I must do this the right way because I get moaned at if not. So we'll try and do it in the order that the auction goes in. So we start up here and we're going to be doing more of the Dolls House uh, books there. Those there, we've got more boxes of uh, various costume jewellery and these uh, gift sets and things. Pottery, more annuals this week. Oh, we seem to get lots of annuals, boxes of those. Ladybird books as well. Old books on stamps. Stamps of the World, Stanley Gibbons, etc. We've got some... Uh, 
tea card albums, maybe some cigarette card albums, old cassettes there as well. Warhammer 40,000 there and various sticker books. Boxes of scale extra because you can see lots of those as well. And we come down here and we've got Xbox 360s, Wii stuff, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. And then we've got a load more of these invites. Again, we had a load of these in last week. They all sold. And these are the new ones. Well, I'll tell you what we have got this week. An abundance of glass. So if you are a glass buyer, there you go. Let me just move that out of the way there. So you've got all of these. These are being sold by the tray. All of these. Now, they're a little bit dusty, but the glass still clean very easily. So all of these paperweights, absolutely loads of them. Look at all them there. So, but once we've done that, we're then moving over here to sell some of the glass fish. Look at all these fish. Some of these will be Murano, no doubt. But you look here, there are loads of them. A complete shoal of uh, glass fish for this week's auction. Then we come up here. We have some doll's houses, a really nice uh, shield-shaped dressing table mirror. We come here, pottery. And then we move on to more glass fish. They're by the tray. These are by the tray, as you can see. And this one here, more glass fish. Lots of great glass in this week's auction uh, from an estate. Uh, sadly, of one of our customers who uh, recently passed away. Really nice guy. And, uh, and a lot of this stuff he may have bought from Prestige in the past. So uh, the circle of life of this stuff carries on once more. Uh, but in remembrance of a really nice chap uh, who was with us uh, at Prestige for a lot of years. So you come here. More paperweights. Look at all the paperweights. There's just absolutely loads of them. Anyway, come around here and then we move on to this cabinet and we've got eagles and uh, storks and uh, a flamenco dancer or something. And these big elephants. Look at all these elephants and eagles and things like that. And then we've got some, uh, some more paperweights there and more glass things. And we've also got a few coins in this week's sale as well. We've actually been lotting up the March sale and a few of the bits that didn't make the grade for the specialist sale. So they're into this, into this week's uh, auction, into the general sale, should I say. Okay, brass, brass items there. And then we've got uh, quite an abundance of just bits and bobs, really. Uh, old doorstops and things there, old dolls, maybe a Murano clown, a big brass tray and then various other bits, plates, and some radios again. Again, there are several radios in this week's auction, as you can see there. I thought that one had a bid on the top of it as well, but it seems to have disappeared. Uh, these ones here, I just pop that up there. Okay, and there's some sort of iPad up there. Is it an iPad? And then we've got all, all of these watches, lots of watches, and uh, various pens and, and lighters and costume jewelry. And then more radios and things like that. Now, did Lisa get me those trays out? Yes, she did. So I'm just going to walk back up this way just to show you some of the stuff, some of the stuff that we've got in the jewellery cabinet uh, this week. And we've got all this here. We've got a United Kingdom proof half sovereign that is in that box there, as you can see. Let me see if I can show you it. There you go. That's a proof. Uh, lots of silver items, various silver and gold bits on there. Lots of nice rings as well. Not the abundance of gold that we had last week. Then we've got lots of silver proofs. We've got lots of coins again. And once again, we told you last week, the chap had got lucky enough to have two Q Gardens 50Ps. Last week's made 180, 190, something like that. Well, we've got another one for this week. But you can be assured we probably won't see one again now for a year or two. Okay, so heading down here, uh, we've also got quite a few uh, sports items in the cabinet, which I'm not going to show you uh, because of regulations, etc. Uh, and then we come on here, we've got lots of 50Ps, more Olympic 50Ps and various uh, watches and things. Lisa, why are you sat there? Because I'm tired. You need to get some work done. I've done. Okay, okay. And we come around here <laughs> and uh, these boxes, these are fantastic boxes. These are probably about 15, 16 quid each, I would have thought, maybe more. Uh, they've all got compartments and great for crafters. They're being sold in stacks of four. We've got big Superman, Pac-Man, Spider-Man's down there. Did you say Pac-Man? No. Did you say No, I didn't. We'll, we'll check it on the, on the video. I'm sure so we've got various electrical items. And then we've got all of these boxes of assorted now. I'm going to walk down here slowly 
to show you all of these boxes of assorted. These are these are all from the hoarder's house, and there is lots and lots of interesting things in lots of these boxes. Really worth coming down to the auction and having a look. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll walk right the way round. There we go, things like the old handbags, just full of old paperwork and stuff. Who knows what you're gonna find in these practical wireless magazines, a stack of games there and uh, various bits and bobs. Do you know, the auction is such a great place. You come into an auction room, uh, especially a good auction room like Prestige where we don't really go through everything. We do our best to find, uh, search the treasure out, but do you know what? There's always bits gonna be bits that slip through when this, you're dealing with so many items. But it makes it great for the people coming into the auction rooms because root for all of these boxes, root for all these treasures that have been sat in there for years and years and years. Now, some 30 and 40 years, maybe even more, uh, and it's worth having a look through them all. Okay, we then come up to this section here, the back wall, and you can see here the stereo system. Do you want these? I'll do the tables before we do the cabinets. What tables? Them the ones we've just spoke about already. Before we do the cabinet. Okay, right. I'll just ignore Lisa. She's doing me head in already. And um, we've got all these radios. A dance set radio. How cool is that? Can't remember seeing one of those. We've got these great GVC bits there. Uh, various uh, reel to reels and projectors and things. A lot of the, a lot of these things here. Oh, and uh, did the lady bring all the craft in? Yeah. Where is it all? Well. You've been where, past where it, a couple of it, but the majority of it's on the middle table in the back room. Okay, so we've got a lot of craft this week. Now, if you look at these oh, things here, the like on these back the cutters and the embossers and the uh, the brother Scandi uh, SDX what twelve hundred. I know this stuff is a lot of money to buy. So you crafters, get yourself down here this week, get involved with the auction and buy some of this stuff. Maybe get yourselves a bargain. All of these electrical items here as well. Old uh, stereos as well. And then we come into the back room. Once again, we've got all of this stuff and this is what we call our box room. So starting from here, these literally boxes full of house clearance goods, books, all the stuff that comes out of estates and look at all these bossons heads there are some really good ones in here as well they're all being sold by the crate okay you come down here more books and then we've got uh, pans maybe look at that uh, in a really good condition set of pans uh, which would cost you a lot of money uh, pyrex there's just boxes of all sorts in here everything you look at even that look at that box there full of cleaning products there's loads of it in there so when you look at all that you know that would cost you maybe 30 40 quid in the shops you might get it in the uh, auction for just a few pound come down here more boxes of assorted bags of teddies i'm going to try and switch from one to the other we've also got pictures and mirrors on the wall come down here all these boxes more boxes of dvds and things and cds more pottery more glasses we come down this bit here what else we got all these mirrors look fantastic mirrors up here as you can see and then there's more stuff on the end lots of uh, old comics and stuff in this week and i did notice that this looked quite a good box of records as well and this is where a lot of the crafting stuff is as well so all these boxes of various craft uh, and, and craft stuff there that uh, again individually would cost you a lot of money but they're being sold in big lots like that okay we then i'm going to do that bit actually in a minute because i'm going to go out of line a little bit so we'll come into the back room have a look at this well we've got incinerators we've got all sorts in here this week as you can see here all of the tools uh, outdoor stuff and indoor stuff as well heaters uh, big boxes of tools and nuts and bolts and polishers you name it it tends to turn up in this room here these are the rooms that you need to really look at in auction rooms because you know this is all the stuff that any auction room that does as many lots as we do will never ever get a chance to go through all of these not you not in a week it take it would take too long so all of this stuff has been somebody's pride and joy for years and years 
all of these old oil cans and things there look you come down this side there's even uh, bottles of oil these are all full now you look at one of these big bottles of a big bottle of q8 like that you're probably looking at 30 quid for one of those now there's two of them in that lot uh, a big pine dresser wardrobes gas heaters look more 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 oil lots of oil this week uh, doors we've got a lot of wood in this week's sale as well so any of you diys that are thinking of doing stuff as it heads towards springtime get yourself to the auction first look at that old steering wheel there what a great piece that is what about the old bikes look at those uh and uh, there's petrol or oh, that one's actually an electric lawnmower and then look at all that wood all bundles of wood all waiting to be bought no reserves can be bought from three pound per bundle it'll cost you more than that for a piece in the shops you've got ladders down there uh, a load of copper piping as well and we come down this way you might want a black and decker work mate a box of tools or you know uh, some wheels tables steps various heat guns bird cages you name it it comes into the auction uh there you go more <clears throat> look at that one old push along lawn mowers big extension reels and we've even got some plants in there as well. So with that, we head home out. We've got some more here, look. Petrol lawnmowers, fishing rods. These auctions just seem to get bigger and bigger and bigger every week. So we come down here, more comics, and we've got various computer bits. And then up this side here, we've got all of this stuff here. I'm not quite sure what there is on here. There's railway stuff. And that looks quite interesting, that old box there. Look at that. Yeah, that is kind of cool, that. Uh, maybe out of a jeweler's or something, or is it a canteen of cutlery? I'm not sure. Anyway, I've got a skull there and various electrical items, a Kenwood chef. And then we look at this wall here. Well, we've got lots of white goods in this week's sale. We've got, is that a, an upright freezer, that one? Yeah, that one's an upright freezer. And you can see we have these switched on as well. You know, the fridges and the freezers. So you can see that they're working. You know, we, we don't like to sell anything that's not working. However, that's why we try and say to everybody, you know, look, have a have a go, have a test, check it out. Make sure you're happy with what you buy. Big TVs, fridges, washing machines, microwaves, more TVs, gas cookers, fridge freezers, another gas cooker, pine wardrobes. And we've got all of these pictures as well of all of these planes, the old um, military aircraft and pine there. A load of uh, Royal Albert Country Rose as well. Always popular, a Dutch dresser, some baby sham glasses. Always see a few of those. Uh, heaters, various beds and things there, as you can see. And uh, we come down to this wall here where we've got old Xbox 360s, boxes of military items, uh, radio control items. And what about these? Look at these. These are cast iron. These are old ones as well these would cost you a lot of money so you need to get down here and get bidding on these items stop going to the garden centers and everything and have a look at the auction room first playstation one games these always seem to do quite a lot of money they're being sold as one lot all of those look uh, xbox games and then we've got various uh, track racing games there including scale electric star wars games some old uh, O-gauge railway stuff. A scale Street 200. That's probably about the early 80s, I'm guessing. Uh, and then we've got the Carrera. What about this? Handsome looking chap. That's a bit different, isn't it? And then we start on the records and the guitars. Well, look at all the guitars and the records and boxes of watches that we've got. And there's guitars everywhere this week. All these guitars all over the place all come from, well, most of them came from one house. And then we've got this beauty here, this old mammoth. Uh, steam uh, uh, what is it traction engine or something there and then we've got that there we've already seen okay then we come on to the furniture well furnitures there's always an abundance of furniture every house we clear has got furniture so whether you're looking for a display cabinet a chest of drawers a z bed a little put me up bed wow, that mattress don't look very thick does it i wonder how comfy that is but uh, there you go so it's put the kids up on and uh, we've got desks, cupboards, stacking chairs. We've got mobility aids, walkers and things, uh, vintage chairs, sewing boxes. Sewing boxes always seem quite popular. We've got clocks. What we've got here, reclining chairs. We've got vaxes. We've got big tables here. Look how old that one is. And we've got piles of pictures. 
we've got leather sweets and what about this you know buyback uh, buyback available then we've got this big uh, table here which has been made for a train layout so if you're thinking of doing a train layout there you go there's a lot of the expense gone with the table more leather suites as you can see there and corner units whatnot stands and we've also got this nice large uh, uh, china cabinet could be turned into a gin cabinet or something we come down this way what have we got down here well, that's a nice display cabinet that one I quite like that one myself. Display cabinet and then the uh, the lamps, filing boxes, more mobility aids, uh, outdoor kind of bistro table with these lightweight aluminium chairs. We use those for the auction ourselves. And then we come down to the last bit of the auction this week. We've got no vehicles this week like we had last week. And we've got more mobility aids, a pine bed. And then, you know, we've got uh, plant stands, pine cupboards, pine bedsides. You name it, modern, old, there's a bit of something for everybody. A load of old tin signs, single beds. Please do not park in front of this building and these TVs and pine units as well. Once again, the staff have done a great job at Prestige this week, turning this round again in just two days. From an auction on Saturday, emptying out Sunday, refilling Monday, it's, they've done a great job. What can I say? dead proud of everybody down at prestige they do a fantastic job of turning this auction round it's massive every single week don't forget we've got another auction on thursday this week that's the tool auction get involved with that one as well there's some great tools in there you can bid on easyliveauction.com uh, as well as coming down and bidding in the room thanks ever so much for taking the time to watch this one we've got it done a bit quicker today have a great week see you if you in on friday or at the sale on thursday and if not we'll see it with the auction on saturday at half nine and uh, don't forget, hit the like, subscribe, leave comments, and uh, we'll come back to you the best we can. And thanks for watching.